Hi, my name is Mally Bickley and I'm a grade 5 teacher at WH Day Elementary School. At our school, we use technology as a tool to connect classes from all over the world. It allows our students the opportunity to, opportunity to learn with each other instead of just about each other. Um, one of the things that we find really important is that it helps them form relationships and uh, while well, they work on meaningful and relevant tasks and projects. The technology allows our students to collaborate in a couple of different ways. The first is um, asynchronously, where the, the children aren't posting, um, aren't speaking together live on time, in real time, but they are actually communicating on forums, in wikis, and in blogs, posting pictures, and teaching each other about their cultures and communities. But the really great uh, tool that we've found that we've been able to use through donated software is um, the ability to speak live through video conferencing and webcasts where they get a chance to actually meet each other and talk together. And uh, that's the part that really helps them develop these uh, meaningful relationships. Here are some examples of some of the projects that students that we've worked with over the years have done to collaborate and communicate with other classes throughout the world. The Machinto Project is a literature-based iron project based on the Japanese picture book called Machinto. The book is about a little girl who was outside playing on August 6, 1945 when the Hiroshima bomb is dropped and she dies as a result of the conflict. Um, through this project, the students learn about uh, children around the world who are still affected by war and they um, express their feelings and hopes for friendship and peace through um, creating um, picture books. Through the projects, the students communicated with other participants through the IRON forums and reflected about the book using text-to-text, text-to-self, and text-to-real-world connections. One really meaningful connections that my students made was when our partner class in Japan saw our peace stubs that we made for the International Peace Day. When they saw the picture that we posted on the forum, they asked us if we could send the doves to Hiroshima so that the doves could be dedicated at the Sadako Peace Memorial with their peace cranes on Memorial Day, which was around the same day as Remembrance Day. We shipped them off to Sh Hiroshima, an overnight courier, with our poppies, and then when they arrived in Japan, they were placed at the memorial in honor of our veterans and also for peace. It was really an incredible, um, meaningful moment in my career and also for the students. The technology also enabled my students to connect with other classes to participate in online literature circles while we were studying the book Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. We used the webcast software called Illuminate so that we could open the walls of the classroom and share our thoughts about the book and also participate in learning experiences with other classes in real time. It was a really relevant and meaningful experience. One truly amazing event was when we used Illuminate to bring many members of the Machinto Project together in an international webcast. We had participants from Canada, the U.S., Taiwan, Japan, and Mali, West Africa participate in the webcast. We all came together to meet each other and to share our stories and talk together about the project. I'll let one of the students talk about how she felt about the experience. Well, I find that really cool. I'm getting... I've I've talked to somebody else on the webcam once in Mali, and I find it, I get, I'm getting to talk to somebody on the other side of the world, and it's a different time, they're seeing me and I'm seeing them, and I just find this experience so amazing that I'm getting a chance to talk to people all over the world at the same time, and I, even though I'm not beside them. One of the benefits of participating in global collaborative projects is the relationships that develop between the students. One of our students began a long conversation with a student from Iraq on the forums about life in their respective countries. She was able to articulate her feelings after meeting her online, but also what I love is the character traits that develop and that she is able to talk about. Be before the Pachinto project, um, I didn't give the war and everything that was happening around the world much thought, but meeting the people who are in the situations like these uh, made me realize how much more real it is and how mu like the people are in much more pain. Um, it was it was really good for me to meet those people and it was it made me happy to know that they were happy m to meet me and know they have friends in Canada. The Art Miles Project used technology to connect classes while encouraging collaboration of creative efforts. Our class was paired with a class from Japan to learn about 
fairy tales from Japan. They exchanged cultural packages, we created welcome videos about classes, and communicated on a BBS site. The final task was to paint a mural to tell about what, what each class had learned about the other cultural fairy tales. The Japanese students painted their half to depict the Canadian fairy tale The Paper Bag Princess, while we completed the mural to tell the tale of Little Fingerling. The mural is a tangible piece of art to show the cultural understanding and the development of relationships while encouraging creativity and collaboration. The opportunity to work in a learning circle through the My Hero Project was an amazing experience. My students were able to work with students from around the world while exploring the concept of heroes in their lives. Much of the work was done in a safe collaborative classroom space in Taking It Global, where students are taught to use the social networking tools, such as blogs and online discussion forums, in a safe and responsible manner. The students also met online during an Illuminate webcast where they highlighted their published work. There's nothing like sharing their work on an international stage to raise the levels of achievements. All students brought their best work to the webcast as they showcased their work to the inter with their international partners face to face. What we have learned is that it really isn't about the technology, but the technology allows us to communicate and collaborate and form relationships with students, teachers, and others all throughout the world, and essentially preparing our students to be 21st century global citizens and global learners.